Inside this California lab, simulated smoking. These devices are activated through vacuums. Exposing a serious toxic secret in e-cigarettes or vapes. What UC Davis professor Brett Poulin and his team found is evidence that in some ways vaping poses health risks far beyond those of smoking tobacco. The metals get more and more concentrated as you use the device. Toxic heavy metals like lead, nickel and antimony linked to cancer, respiratory illness and neurological damage. You can see different metallic components that are in contact with the e-liquid. On the left is a device that does not have a lead based component that we found and you can see that it's a clear color. On the right is the virgin e-liquid of a device that contained lead alloys. And you can see clearly it almost looks like motor oil. Vaporized and entering the lungs of users. In one worst case scenario, the lead concentration Poulin detected from one day of smoking a particular e-cigarette was equivalent to 19 packs of traditional cigarettes. Consistently, as the devices got older, they became essentially more toxic. A chilling new risk in a vaping market flooded with products that have no safety oversight. Keep in mind, the FDA has only authorized 39 vaping products designed to help smokers quit. None of those pose these safety hazards. But those approved devices make up less than 1% of the total vaping device market. All of the top selling disposable devices are illicit. They're not legally sold, but they are the top devices. <laughs> We've seen little or no enforcement of laws intended to protect the public from these illegal vapes. Take a look at our video from major vaping expos we attended this year in Miami and Nashville. The aisles were packed with vaping products which are illegal under federal law, on display and ready to ship to shops all over the country. That was my most disheartening time at FDA, was attending those shows. For years, David Oliveira worked at the Center for Tobacco Products within the FDA. Part of his job was going to these trade shows to look at new products. I saw the nicotine levels increasing year after year. They went from 5,000 puffs to 10,000 to 15, 25,000. The most recent show I attended, I saw some with 50,000 puffs. And I said, this is a major concern. A concern that often leads to a discussion of abuse by teenagers. But Oliveira tells me the problem is much bigger. The majority of users are millions of adults trying to quit cigarettes, unwittingly using cheap, unapproved vaping devices, which are poisoning them with every puff. There's probably 10 times as many adult consumers buying these Chinese products than, than there are youth. Which brings us back to Brett and his California lab. He hopes his new research will open regulators' eyes and encourage them to crack down on the dangerous devices that are flooding the U.S. market.